If you ate dinner at Colonnade's dining hall last Thursday, your meal was probably interrupted. It was one of the many alarms the Elon Fire Department responds to on campus every year. But Elon Fire Captain David Wright said that most of their calls come from residence halls. Yeah, we run an awful lot of burnt food and stuff. Uh, we all run a, a few steam calls, not as many as we used to. And then the other ones are generally just actually mechanical problems, some type of problem with the detector head or a problem in the alarm system. Most calls require two engines, a ladder truck, and six men to respond. They have no way of knowing if there's an actual fire or not. Some firefighters at the station gave me a general rundown of what happens every time that alarm goes off. Our driver uh, for that day, depending on the type of call, usually will put his bunker pants on. Driver will make his way over and go ahead and get the vehicle uh, crank. Go ahead, Isaac, crank the vehicle and everything. Our firefighter will come out and he'll start getting ready and he'll start getting his gear on. We'll get to get in the vehicle, make sure we got everything, we know where we're going, and out we'll go. These are the two fire engines located at the station on Williamson Avenue. Because they're so complicated to maintain, they each cost $200 per hour to operate. So you can see how that, plus the cost of a ladder truck, can make it really expensive. If there's no fire to put out, it only takes the station about 15 minutes to respond to an alarm and come back. But adding together the trucks and the cost of manpower, that's about $150 every time someone burns popcorn. Sophie Nielsen-Colding, Phoenix 14 News.